This is one of multiple videos showing you how to use Ostianado for crafting packets in a GNS3 network. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Ostianado to inject 802.1 Q frames and implement VLAN hopping. The Osteonado device in this topology on the left is configured in VLAN 10. The router is configured in VLAN 20, but we're going to send frames from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20 by hopping from one VLAN to another. So on switch 1, show interface gigabit 01 switch port shows us that this port is an access port in VLAN 10. So gigabit 01 is configured in VLAN 10 as per the diagram. Show interface trunk. We can see that an 802.1Q trunk is configured on gigabit 00. So an 802.1Q trunk exists between switch 1 and switch 2. So on switch 2, we can see something similar. Gigabit 00 is trunking using 802.1Q. Show interface gigabit 01 switch port. We can see that gigabit 01 is an access port in VLAN 20. We could also use this command to verify that the port is in VLAN 20. And on switch 1, show run interface gigabit 01. We can see that this port is in VLAN 10. So in theory, the Ostianado device shouldn't be able to send frames to the router unless the traffic is into VLAN routed. But we're going to circumvent that. The router is configured with an IP address of 10.1.20.1. I'll do a debug on the router, so debug IP ICMP, so that we can see if traffic arrives at the router. I'll also do Wireshark captures in a moment. But let's start up Ostianado. We're going to use port 0, which is Ethernet 1 and we're going to create a new stream, which I'm going to call 802.1Q. To to Double click on the cog, and this is where we can set various options. I'm going to send a tag frame using Ethernet 2. It's going to be IP version 4. It's going to be ICMP. So in the protocol data, I'll set this to a broadcast from a fake MAC address of this. The VLAN, I'm going to configure to VLAN 20. Now notice please that Gigabit01 is configured as an access port on switch 1. But we're going to send a VLAN 20 frames to the switch. It's going to be Ethernet 2 frames. The source is going to be 10.1.2.200 as an example and I'm going to set the destination to a broadcast. It's going to be an echo request message, and we have a fixed word payload. I'm not going to add any additional variable fields. I'll send a 1,000 packets at one packet per second. So this is what our packet looks like. It's a destination at layer 2 from this fake MAC address. We're adding an editor at one q VLAN tag of 20 to the frame. The layer 3 protocol is IP version 4. We are specifying that the destination is broadcast. The source IP address is this. We're going to send type 8 ICMP messages, in other words, echo reply. And we have some data added by Osteonado. It's very important to click Apply, and then we can start our packet generation on port 0, in other words, on Ethernet 1. So I'm going to click Play. We can see that frames are being sent. And as you can see here, the ICMP echo requests are being received by the router. I'll stop the sending of packets. The router sent an echo reply with this source IP address, which is its local IP address with a destination IP address of 10.1.2.200. Now, 
Now what's important to note here is that the switches are not doing into VLAN routing. The switches are not configured with SVIs or switched virtual interfaces or, or layer three interfaces. They have no capability at the moment of routing from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20, but I'm able to send traffic from VLAN 10 on the first switch to VLAN 20 on the second switch. So again, just to reiterate, let's look at the show commands and then I'll do some Wireshark captures. Gigabit 01 is configured as an access port in VLAN 20 on switch two. On switch one, Gigabit 01 is configured as an access port in VLAN 10. The interface between the switches is configured as a trunk. So Gigabit 00 is using 802.1Q trunking. We can see that on both sides. We have been able to inject a frame into the network and hop from one VLAN to another. Once again, when I start Ostionado, we get the echoes on VLAN 20 and the router is trying to reply to those packets. I'll start a Wireshark capture on this interface. You can see the packets generated by Ostionado. There is the source MAC address, which is our fake MAC address. Here's our broadcast. It's an 802.1Q frame. So we're injecting an 802.1Q frame with VLAN 20 into the network. Destination IP address is a broadcast. Source IP address is our fake IP address. We're sending an ICMP echo request message. On the trunk interface, we can see something similar. Notice VLAN 20 frames are being sent from the one switch to the other. And on this side, the VLAN tag has been removed and the router is receiving a simple broadcast from the Ostionado PC. We've been able to hop from VLAN 10 to VLAN 20 using Ostionado. Again, all I did was add a VLAN ID of 20 to the frame when sending it to switch one, which has gigabit 01 configured as an access port. It was as simple as that to hop from one VLAN to another and inject frames into a separate VLAN. Now it's for reasons like this that you should be implementing layer two security on your networks. I'll stop the transmission of the packets and I'll now show you how to do a double tag on a VLAN. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.